the delay so okay hey everyone um this is arcade punch out um so i'm playing this on hardware right now there is a small chance that the board could reset it's been doing some funky stuff with me lately but uh hopefully things should be fine uh it's been decent today so i am gonna be ready in a couple moments let me just make sure it's highlighted there we go All right, so, um, so I uh, my experience is mainly with speedrunning the first loop of this game, and one of the main text, the main uh, bits of tech for speedrunning this is a counter punch, where you want to use your uh, right jab at just the right time, like right before the opponent's about to hit you, and you'll sort of counter them, and it'll cause a special stun where you can get more damage in. Yeah, like this right here. Yeah, damage scales up depending on how many arrows you have filled in your KO meter, so you want to keep them filled as much as possible. So all your normal punches do 3 damage, and then they scale up to 9. Oh, I got the, I got the fake frame. Oh man, yeah, because this fight is actually fairly similar to... Uh... Glass Joe and how it goes when it when it goes well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very similar. You just simple counter and KO him. But yeah, this game has a thing where if you dodge too fast, you actually won't be able to stun him. And that's what happened to me right there. I was intending on stunning him and just keeping him locked in. The faster you dodge in general determines how many punches you get in your stun. All right, ball bull. So this fight here, again, it's going to really come down to, like, the main thing you need to know to get a good time on him is you need to know the timing to hit him out of the bull charge with your KO punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I got the uh, the random counter. Oh. It's like 25% likely if you provoke a counter for him to actually throw a jab, and that's one of the only things you can counter punch on yeah. ball bull. Yeah, the, uh, that's required to get the quick KO on him, is you you specifically have to use a KO punch to hit him out of his bull charge there for the first time. Kid Quick, this one is what the gatekeeper for most people who play this game. He's uh, very defensive, and you have to know how to make him... You, have, you, know, you gotta know how to make him actually attack you and then uh, punish. And you just have to, like, you have to whiff stuff at the right time. Also, there's this trick with uppercuts, where he doesn't, he tends not to avoid uppercuts a lot of the time. Sometimes he will, though, as you're seeing here. Yeah, in general, when you get a KO punch, um, you get a freebie punch. So, whenever KO meter initially fills out, then you get one KO punch where the opponent just 
doesn't defend against it. And once they once they get hit by that, then they realize, oh, okay, he's able to throw KO punches. And that changes their patterns significantly. Because in general, they're really aggressive. But once you get KO meter, then they become passive. This is the most difficult fight execution-wise for speedrunning. You need a lot of uh, fairly precise counters here to make this fight go right. At least I got him down before the uh, the grapple. Uh, he has a scheduled grapple at 2.30. So the timer dictates a lot of patterns in uh, both Arcade Punch-Out and Arcade Super Punch-Out. And uh, yeah, that's a significant one for Pizza. So if you dodge his uppercut after the grab, you get a, you get the special counter where you can just keep hitting him with KO punches. Yeah. Also, it, yeah. Um, whenever he does the grapple, as long as you dodge right, then you're good. If you dodge left, then you're probably going to get knocked down. It's a little uh, cheap shot thing. If you don't know it, you just kind of get floored. Here is the most luck-based fight of the first loop, easily. You just basically need to, again, fight similar to Kid Quick. You just throw punches out, and you hope that he tries to counter you with slow stuff that you can dodge and punish. Yeah, this is a really, really random fight, time-wise. Yeah, because he, he hit me, he's probably going to get up a third time, but let's see. I forgot to mention, another factor in whether or not you can get an early KO in some fights is your health. Like Kid Quick, for example, you must have full health in order to KO him on the first knockdown. Yeah, I just got two random jabs in a row. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that's the end of first loop, so I should mention the category. We're doing all unique fights. So this game loops indefinitely, but the def the difficulty levels off on the 16th fight. So we're going to be fighting all the way to Piston Hurricane 4. And this is where um, I'm far less experienced than Zallard in knowing the later loops specifically, but I can tell you that uh, Glass Joe is no joke here. Like, I have, I have lost to this Glass Joe before. Yes, so Glass Joe gets a thing where... Every mistake you do, he gets faster and faster. And uh, if you mess up, like, let's say three or four times, then it's really, really hard to recover. Um, Glass Joe 2 and 3 are pretty much equivalent with each other, but every other fight is different in some respect. So for this fight here, I'm going to try to bait him into throwing jabs by putting my guard down. Yeah, Piston Hurricane is the toughest opponent of these later loops for me, at least because he's really defensive, and the time limit can be a problem with him if you don't know what you're doing. Wait, let me see if I can set up a glitch. Oh, okay. I think I might be able to just knock him down here in one punch. Let's see. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, so... The game is really bad at uh, determining if you hit the, the, you know when he does the rush? Yeah. If you have his hit points down such that a normal punch would take him out, then it doesn't remove the flag that the next punch is an instant knockdown. <laughs> I always yeah. wonder what caused that. Yeah, there was a couple of tool assisted runs recently that pretty much broke it down for me. There's two variations of it. You could do it um, as they're backing up or after. The I typically try to set up the one where they do it after. And there's a Zallard baiting out jabs from Ball Bull that he can counter punch to get bigger stuns on. And the most the most obvious difference with Ball Bull in the later loops is that he'll do uh, fake outs on his bull charge sometimes. Yeah. I think I skipped it this time because I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember him backing up, so I guess that's good for RTA. If that mattered. <laughs> like, nobody really cares about RTA for punch out for the most part, but. Yeah. Well. Right. Punch out's one of the few cases where in game time is the widely accepted format for speedrunning.
This fight's not too much different on this loot from what I recall. Yeah, it's not too bad. Also of note, if you time your KO punches to hit right before their punch hits you, you actually get extra damage, kind of like a like a counter hit in fighting games. Yeah, I try to abuse that whenever I can. In general, it's it leads to the fastest possible times. So next up, we got Sandman 2. Um, the same strategy works, but he tends to get higher refills, so... Pretty decent and, so far. Yep, Sandman, um, again, will, uh, this will go pretty similarly to the first fight, at least early on. Just trying to, you're just throwing out attacks, trying to make him do stuff that you can punish. Yeah, I should probably talk about damage a little bit. So, yeah. um, whenever you get a KO punch, you do get that freebie, but what I tend to do is I put my guard down before I throw my uppercut, because when the opponent has their gloves up and they take a KO punch, then it reduces the damage to about 7. And that's less than just a right jab from you. But if you lower your guard, they take 14 instead. So you want to try to make sure that you manipulate their guard down whenever you throw KO punches. Yeah. And in case you're wondering what happened to Kid Quick, um, he does not appear again after the first loop. Yep. Same with uh, Pizza Pasta. Well, Pizza Pasta disappears after a second loop. I mean... Oh, yeah, yeah. We fought him a second time. Kid Quick after the first loop is when he's gone. So now we're gotcha. now we're gonna lose pizza on these future loops. Hey, there's the big knockdown there. That's huge in this fight. Very, very, very easy very, very easy to run out of time in this fight, if you don't know. Like the strat that I end up using for this when I was just trying to go for score was um, I'd end up taking hits from him at certain points because that resets his pattern and allows me to actually like punish his stuff again. It's weird. Yeah, Hurricane, he's a champion when it comes to timing you out. So in general, you want to take hits to knock off a couple of arrows on your KO meter because that makes him aggressive. Whenever he's passive like that, he'll pretty much never do anything. He might do like one pot shot in once in a while, but... Whenever you run out of time, then it's just game over. So, Bull 3, any differences from Bull 2 to Bull 3? Um... It's harder to... Whenever you try to counterpunch him, then he won't actually get stunned. And he also gets higher refills. So, yeah, that would have stunned him in the previous loop. Nice. Yeah, in general, I don't go for the bull charge. Because... The frame window is something like one to three frames. It's it's not good. And if you miss it, you're you get knocked down. You get up with a really low refill. And if he hits you once, you've you've lost your credit. So in general, not worth it. Alright, so Glass Joe again. The same strategy that worked on Glass Joe 2 works on three. Just gotta make sure your one dodge is tight. Okay, cool. So it is possible that he could not go down to that strategy. Because the the arrows in the KO meter are based on an eight uh well a frame rule of eight frames. So sometimes it doesn't update at the times you want, and that reduces the amount of damage and a couple of key punches in that fight. Alright, so we're nearing the end of this game. Um, so, Sandman, uh, this Sandman is a little bit less prone to doing uh, 
attacks after the provokes. So in general, I'm gonna let him dictate the fight. And also, for those who don't know, um, the right jab deals more damage than the left jab, which is why you tend to... But it's slower. So that's just similar to, you know, the console games. So that's why you see oftentimes, like, the left jab being used to punish, and then you use right jabs while they're stunned. And the right jab is also the one that you use for the counter-punching that we described earlier. That's a huge, huge uh, speedrunning trick for this game. That little, that little, that little sidestep thing that looks like a stomp from Sandman. That's the annoying thing, a wrinkle that he adds in later loops. Yes, that makes it a little bit more difficult to actually get him to do the uppercut that you're intending him to do, because more often than not he'll do that instead. But it's okay because I want him to hit me. Because otherwise he just stands around for a really long time. Every once in a while he'll throw jabs at you. Um but it's variable on when he actually does that. So this is going to be the last fight of this category. Um, after Piston Hurricane 4, it recycles Ball Bowl 3. Oh, he didn't do the second jab. Interesting. All right, this is going to be an interesting fight. Nice. Oh yeah, that's right, that doesn't work on this one. Then Hurricane 4 also learns Pizza Pasta Move, where he just kind of does either four body blows or four jabs in a row, and you need to block him. There's no uh, way to successfully counter that. Oh, the upper I'm actually surprised that that stunned him for that long. Yeah, a lot of these fights come down to judging whether your dodge was good enough. Alright, so that's the end of Punch Out. Alright, there right we on. go, and that is uh, all unique fights on one credit cleared, because now we're just going to keep repeating the, uh, the other like Loop 4 fights over and over again. Yep. All right, so give me about two, three minutes, and I should get uh, Arcade Super Punch-Out going. So I'll be right back.
There we go. Hmm. All right. I'm seeing some weird video artifacts. I'm gonna. I'm gonna reset this. <laughs> Give me one second. 